ECS Universal Wi-Fi Throttle is now available for pre-orders. Pre and this is huge, and we'll tell you why. Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan from TCS. And Steve from TCS. And we're really excited to announce to you that the TCS Universal Wi-Fi Throttle is now available for pre-orders. That's right, you heard that right. We are letting you pre-order the throttle. We've put a whole bunch of time and consideration into everything that this throttle has, from the ergonomic design, to the screen, to all of the features. We're just really pumped to have it in your hands coming soon. So let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, from working tech support all the time, there's a lot of things that people run into issues, you know, uh, I talk to a lot of customers who use other people's throttles and trying to walk them through the process of doing even simple stuff can often be a little bit complicated. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we've taken into consideration for our design is making it very simple for you, the user, uh, to be able to operate and understand. So newcomers to DCC and even some of you old folks out there who have been hanging around since day one might be interested in how easy and versatile this throttle is going to be even for you. So one of the main features of this new throttle is the ergonomics. We've spent a lot of time developing the ergonomics on this throttle to take into account a lot of the issues that we've seen with existing throttles out there on the market today. Um, for example, it's very well balanced in your hand. Uh, it's not something that's going to make you uncomfortable while you hold it. There's no sharp edges. We've taken the time to round off all the corners and make sure that it's a very comfortable experience for you. Um, like I said, it's balanced, so no matter how you hold it, it's comfortable in your hand and it feels good. It has a nice weight to it. All those sort of things have been in our mind in the forefront. Uh, as we've been going through these design integrations to make this the most comfortable throttle that you've ever picked up and used. Now Dan, what hand do you favor? So I'm left-handed, mm -hmm. but obviously living in this right-handed world of ours, I have to be ambidextrous so I can use either one, which is another thing that's great about this. Um, even though I'm left-handed, I can use this in either hand and I can use it equally well. Um, so being able to interact with buttons, interact with the menu, it's equally tuned for either hand, which is really nice. This universal throttle features eight buttons that are programmable by the user. The four that are directly under the screen actually show the functions that they control on the screen. And the great thing about that is it allows you a lot more versatility uh, compared to a lot of other throttles that are out there on the market today, where you can take these configurations either on a per locomotive or per throttle basis and take them with you. So if you want to roll on over to your friend's house for a quick op session and you want to run your train on their layout, you can take all those configurations with you. And it's basically a way of saying, yeah, you can run your layout the way you want, but I also want to run your layout the way that I want. <laughs> and you can do that. So another one of the big features of this one, that's a pun by the way, is the screen that you're going to have on the new throttle. Uh, the display that we have on this, uh, on the TCS throttle, is significantly larger than most other handhelds that you find out there. Uh, and that allows us to be able to have a lot of options when it comes to displaying things on the screen. Um, for example, we have uh, dynamic texts that can change size depending upon the length of characters that something is. And even more importantly than that, it allows us to display a lot of information and being able to display that in a way that's easy for you to understand and to read. You don't have to memorize small abbreviations for things that you may or may not know what they do or what they are. Things are spelled out in plain English. So if you need to adjust this setting, it says adjust this setting. Mm -hmm. There's no guesswork or weird memorization involved. What you see is what you get. There are two main connection modes that you'll be using with this throttle. The first is the Y throttle protocol and the second is LCC. Dan, can you tell us what these actually do and what they mean? Yeah, so Y-Throttle is a widely adopted protocol in the industry uh, for trains these days. The two most common examples are going to be Y-Throttle, the application, and engine driver, which are available for your mobile device. Now this protocol is the same protocol that we're using in our throttle to be able to communicate, which means that any situation that you have where you could control a train using your phone, you can also use it to control using our throttle. The difference, of course, is going to be the ease of use, uh, some additional features, and also you have a tactile response versus where you have a phone and you have to be looking at your phone, you're not looking at your train. 
Uh, you run into something, you derail a bunch of boxcars, CSX is down for five days, it's not a good time. Speak so, for yourself, Dan. <laughs> I run a very tight ship on my railroad. I'm sure you do, Steve. So you could run this throttle behind your back and you could definitely say for sure, yeah, I definitely push that button. Um, and that's not something that you're going to get with other throttles or other Y throttle protocol enabled devices that you have out there these days. And the other connection mode that our throttle offers is LCC. The future TCS command station that we will be releasing is going to use LCC as its communication protocol. Um, and that allows you to have a lot more expandability and ability to control other devices such as trackside devices. You may be familiar with RR circuits, which offers a lot of trackside sensors, turnout controls, and uh, plenty of other things as well. And you can control your trackside devices directly from your throttle. And that's a really nice feature and a value add. We've detailed a whole bunch of ways that the throttle is very easy to use, but I also want to share that it's very easy to update. Now, not all throttles have the capability to be updated, and certainly not in the way that ours is, which is over Wi-Fi. TCS is putting together a, a desktop application where you can actually connect your throttle to it and then send updates to it in the matter of seconds. So this throttle is not going to be stuck in the past, you're not going to buy this thing and then six months later find out that it's obsolete. We're going to continue to push firmware updates and also feature updates that will keep your throttle on the cutting edge for years to come. So the application that we're developing to go in conjunction with the throttles is also going to be significantly easier to use than what you've seen a lot out there before. And you'll be able to do this in the field, which means that you don't have to take your cab and send it back to the manufacturer and wait, I don't know, six months for you to get it back or something like that. That's a real inconvenience. So having the ability to update it in the field as easily and as conveniently as possible, of course, is exactly what we're going for with everything about this device. So like we said before, the TCS Universal Wi-Fi Throttle is going to be available for pre-orders. Now we have three tiers of these pre-orders that you can choose the one that best fits you, but essentially the idea is the more you put down up front, the more you're gonna save in the long run. These throttles won't be heavily discounted anywhere, so the fact that you have access to these exclusive, pretty significant discounts, and you probably wanna take advantage of those before those discounts expire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in addition to having, like Steven said, a hefty discount off of your throttle if you pre-order, you're also going to get a gift, which is going to be based on whatever it is that you put down on your pre-order. I mean, I'm pretty excited. <laughs> I'm also It's excited. pretty good. 